Alright, and we're back with another episode of Tower of God. We got episode 5 of The Crown's Fate. Last episode was really cool. We got to see some of the uh, badass fighting with the green princess with her green April. Uh, we got to see Kuhn. Who knew he was such a fighter? He kicked some serious ass. And then we had that cold-hearted chick ask Rachel if it was cool to kill anyone. And she said, sure. Like, Bomb didn't mean anything to her. So it's it's going to be fun. I'm hoping to see Kuhn kick some more ass. I want to see what's happening with Rachel and what happened to her and where she's from and what her whole story is. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so that was really interesting. Uh... So it turns out Bomb, being an irregular, is one of the irregulars who's got crazy ass wild powers. I was wondering how that was gonna go, if he was gonna kinda be like, you know, a, a not so powerful individual in this world of people with powers, but it's kinda, and I think I kinda got power scaled in this episode a little bit, where it seems like, like even the, even the three who were talking shit, who, who wiped out their whole group, when they came in to fight, you thought they were going to absolutely clap everyone, but Mrs. Confident ended up snapping her heel and ended up having the, the weird, masked up chick with the... I mean, she had a dope-ass club. That thing was cool. I liked it. It had, like, a kind of club mace double-ended thing to it. It kind of had, like, a... Uh, like, uh, it, you know, it looked like almost like an Aztec relic. Like, it looked kind of ancient, like an old-school old kind of old school staff steel you know weapon mace kind of thing so i really like that it was cool even though she ended up just getting absolutely clapped by bombs uh shinsu but it seems that everyone is at equal power levels is what i'm trying to say that it seems that everyone everyone except for well up to this point bomb but now apparently he's got some like secret orange because the, all the shinsu up to this point has been blue and then this was like an orangey red and, like, I, I think his name's Lero Ro, like he said at the end. I think he was talking to himself, right? Uh, said at the end there that he became Shinsu itself. So that, so he's got power now. So it's looking like everyone has an equal chance to climb the tower. I want to know more about Anak. She seems kind of interesting, like how she got accused of not being... I, for, I forget what the accusation was. Uh, it was, I, I watched that episode, like, five days ago. But she got accused of, like, not being... Uh, a full princess or not being a real princess and she kind of snaps so she seems like she's got some depth to her I also like that she's a total badass and her weapon is kind of you know I, I just like kind of the simplicity and the badassery of it you know it's it's it, it is a, the, the green April uh, and then now she's got the black March so she got that because even like why the hell I mean I get it you you ended up saving Rachel you felt like you had to save Rachel I get why you jumped off the thing but what the hell man you know, you lost you lost the Black March. Now you're gonna have to get it back. And I bet that Yuri chick, she's gonna be pretty pissed off that this other princess has her sword. That's probably gonna be a, a whole bunch of drama in and of itself. And then Rachel, Rachel shows up at the end with the request. And I'm wondering, what is she gonna ask Bomb to drop out of the tower? Like, is, is that her goal? Does she think it's too dangerous? Is she worried about him? Is she being manipulated by the bloodthirsty chick? Is that why she's just, is she just going along? because she's being played or manipulated or does she have some like greater motive like what else is going on here because there definitely seems to be some conspiracy elements like we need to prevent people who are powerful and bad for the tower which it's like so clearly it is some sort of there is some hierarchy they are worried about some something destroying i guess their control or and maybe there's some sort of good reason for it but there definitely seems, seems to be some dystopia especially with that you know, coffee drinking guy. I don't trust him, but then even above him with like head on, it seems to be that there is some, a lot of kind of, you know, uh, uh, unnecessary. There's a, there seems to be a lot of suspicious things going on behind the works. And I'm, I'm really interested to find out more. So I'll come back with another reaction later this week. Until then, you guys take it easy. Peace.